he's got a lot of experience, you know, just thinking about um, his college experience. Justinian has college and pro experience now, so they just they felt real, real comfortable. And I felt like if we were able to get the stop, get to overtime, I felt like we'd win it because we can get more organized. Now, Davian Mitchell, is, he's tough. He's putting a lot of pressure on our guards, but we figured out a way to manage that. And then we got a little more ball movement. We got stagnant, you know, third quarter. They got the lead. They kept the lead. Um, but we played better in the fourth quarter, got, you know, got it tied, and then pulled it out in overtime. You seem desperate now for what do you think about his game <clears throat> I like his pace like he's he's not the most athletic or quick guy but he gets to his spots um, pretty effectively uh, I think he also understands shot selection like he took some tough ones but he feels like he can get those off uh, and I've seen him do it in practice now like you said for a few days uh, you need confidence as a shooter um, to figure out where to get a shot but then also because the team needs you to do that you know we're expecting him to put some shots up to somebody that can stretch the floor for us but it also allows our guys to go crash the glass so, so when he takes good ones we feel like we can go chase it down if it doesn't go in. Other than the shooting, what did you like from Joseph's game? It's playmaking. Like he's he's made some nice passes um, in our practices leading up to this, and then he had a nice one today. Uh, I think he can do more of that. Um, usually, like with the the lefties, like they can handle the ball better with their right hand. I can see some of that with him, and I feel comfortable with him initiating some plays. So we'll do more of that with him. Um, you know, as we go along in summer league. Where do you think he's at defensively, on ball, off ball? I would say he's probably better off the ball now. It's just it's such a tough chore to deal with guys who have this quickness, but they also have experience. Uh, the way they allow you to set screens, sometimes you know, sometimes you can get downhill just by a little brush, and then other times guard, you know, the bigs really clip you. And so he's got to be able to close the distance, stay connected to his man, uh, and the physicality, and use his size with him being six six, uh, and then just understanding like what these teams are trying to do with the plays that they run. Yeah, I think the nerves, you know, that first game, not feeling comfortable, not really knowing your teammates like you should. I mean, three days of practice is not enough to uh, kind of feel comfortable, but he figured things out. Um, you know, when all these guys they play for so long, it's just, it's just like riding a bike. You never forget. So you just get out there and compete and then you see the shots fall <clears throat> and then you start to communicate and stay connected on defense. And so we'll need more of that and to be, a, do, be able to do it more consistently. Will Kamega and Moody play tomorrow? For they sure? will. Yep. Yep. Um, well, can you talk about what made went into the decision? To, to... I think the big thing is like you know the draft process now is so extensive. Um, you know they're flying across country. You know back and forth. I mean there were guys that we worked out that had been in 12, 13 different workouts, and so that's a lot. Now for those guys, maybe they didn't do as many because they were high, highly rated. Um, but that's a lot to go through, and then we throw you right into a physical practice where you're going hard every time. You're trying to impress your coaching staff. And so I, th I think uh, the training staff or the performance staff felt like it was best to not have them in a back-to-back -back right off the bat. And then fortunately in Vegas, we don't have to worry about that because we're playing every yeah. other day. Yeah. Can you talk with the, the, the Warriors coaching staff and stuff when it comes to what you want to get out of these guys this summer league? I know it's about familiarizing them with the system. And <clears throat> but for, I guess for Jessup, Moses and Jonathan, what are the big things that you want to see from them? So Jessup, I think getting a shot off quickly um, and being able to do that with guys running at him because now they close the distance so much quicker than in, in Australia or, or even when he was in college. Um, and then obviously guarding on the ball, he's got to be better at that so he can find it, keep himself on the floor. <laughs>